The creeks of the Niger Delta region of the country do not only host the long stretch of vegetation, but have also become shield to illegal refineries, pipeline vandals, and crude oil thefts. A Navy team from the Nigeria Navy ship Pathfinder intercepts some of these traders while on the way to one of the illegal refineries in Bakana Creeks. Some of the vendors sensing danger escape through the creeks, abandoning their boats laden with petroleum products. Thirteen others with over 160 drums of suspected crude oil products are rounded up. They surrender, singing different songs. However, they have the law to contend with. At the Bakana Creek illegal refinery, there are indications that a camp situated on a large expanse of marshy land is still active, though deserted by the operators upon our arrival. It's an eyesore. The atmosphere reeks of concentrated fuel, and the land is completely devastated. They source for the product somewhere around. They transport it using wooden boots or barges into the ovens where they will heat it and then this is a dugout pit, it's like a storage tank. Going further, the Navy has acquired two brand new swamp boogies for the NNS Pathfinder to make a more impactful damage on the illegal refineries scattered all over the creeks. The challenges of manning, policing and patrolling the over 420 nautical miles of the country's coastline is enormous. This is compounded when barges are arrested, handed over to prosecuting agencies, yet kept with the Navy for maintenance. You, you can see for yourself that uh, they are bec becoming a danger to uh, mariners around this area. As such, um, some time ago, the Navy contracted um, a company to come and clear them to, to the other side. You can see some of them are at the other side, so that there will be free passage for vehicles transiting this area. Crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism and illegal refineries, as long as they thrive, will continue to destroy the country's economy. Adequate funding is therefore vital to keep the national assets and resources protected. Chris Phillips, Channels Television News.